Hello everybody, I'm Storm here. Welcome back to the Horse Lord Mega Campaign in Hearts of Iron 4. In the last episode, we were able to take out both uh, Poland and Franconia. Poland was a real quick, real quick war. Knocked it out real fast. And then with Franconia, once we were able to break their initial defensive line, which I used the nukes to do that, uh, we pretty much rolled them over fairly quickly. Well, a lot faster than I had anticipated it would take. So that's, that's good. Um, I had expected a longer fight than what I got, but I'll take it. So, I think at this point, since we no longer need any resources, because we have more than enough, and we have a sizable enough military, that we no longer need our alliance. And in fact, they have been nothing but a disappointment up to this particular point. Um, no one joined us in the last few wars, and... So, we are going to abandon it. So, what I'm going to go ahead and do right about now is... Who is leading the faction? England is. We're going to leave the faction. Do it. Can I make my own faction with blackjack and hookers? Um, no. He's not with you. I don't think so. I don't think anybody is going to um, want an alliance with me at this point, which is fine. Which is fine. Republic of Wu would have been nice. To bring in as an ally, but um, base reluctance, different ideology, nobody's at war. Yeah. All right. So what we need to do is we need to Everybody's canceling the non-aggression packs, which makes sense. And then we need to... We're giving military access to France. Can uh, cancel their military access. Uh, who else are we giving military access to? Italy. Cancel their military access. Uh, we're giving a military access to England. Cancel it. Yes. Uh, let's see. Chokwe. Cancel that. And Kiev. Cancel that. Get all of your troops out of my territory now. Alright. So... Our fronts. Uh, we are gonna have a few to set up here. I'm just gonna keep it paused for a minute. Alright, the African Theater. You guys who are set up against Andalusia. is no longer necessary. I don't think we're going to be able to maintain every single front. There's France right there, and Italy. Ooh. I don't think we're going to be able to maintain every single front, as I was saying. But... It should be alright. We're going to have to just give up certain areas of territory once the war starts. Like, this area, I'm probably just going to have to give up. I don't think it makes any sense to try to hold that. This area here, 
don't care. That little area right there, that's going to have to go. Probably our South American territory is just going to have to be, you know, abandoned for the time being. I mean, it'd be really nice to have it. I might put an army in he this area here. But that little area over there is probably just going to have to be abandoned. Like, maybe this little spot here might have to be given up. I'll have to make decisions in that regard. But, first and foremost, is we need to start setting things up here in... Africa. Alright, so let's send a... Infantry. And a cavalry. And the assault, which is the heavy, heavy armor, plus infantry, over there. So you guys start heading in that direction. Now. Wait, why were you heading in that direction? Oh, because that was one of the ones I sent to that front. Right, right, right. Okay, so it means that this cavalry... We'll get lined up there. And the armor here will also get lined up there. To isolate that little pocket and take them very quickly. Because those should be fairly mobile units. Alright, so down here... We have this border with Chakwe, Italy, and Creek that we're going to have to worry about. Creek really shouldn't need much, so I'll send this cavalry over there. Italy will get uh, cavalry and... Oh, that little lake right there is going to cause all kinds of trouble, isn't it? So is this lake. Alright, well, we'll get a cavalry there, and then we'll get some armor. Over there. And then for Chalkway, we'll go... with the infantry and the assault. This area is going to be a bit of an issue. But if I can push through quickly, we can eliminate these lakes as problems. So it's going to have to be a very aggressive push there. Alright, so that's as good as I can get right now. In the African Theater. Alright, so, North America. This is a mess. Okay. Everybody, delete your fronts. Can I just delete all the fronts there? 
No, apparently not. Okay. Let's see, let's give you Logistics Wizard, and Offensive Doctrine, and Fast Planner. There we go. Let's give you Offensive Doctrine, Organization first, okay. Oh, free military factories. Right, I absorbed a whole bunch of those. There were... Ah, yes, yes, yes. I need to get these guys manufactured. I have like a hundred factories I need to hand out. Okay. Um... Transports, I guess. Our amphibious tanks and transports. There we go. That'll do. Oh, the other thing I didn't want to do is I want to change my export to a closed economy. Can't. I have to be at war. Alright. Well, once we're back at war, we can close the economy. Alright, so, where do we actually need fronts? Pretty much this whole stretch. This whole stretch. The problem is that until we're actually at war with them, I can't really um, stretch them out all the way, so... Unless I can. That's interesting. But that is not necessarily what I want to do, because there's no way it'll be able to cover cover that whole front. I'd like you to cover Shoshone and at least out to where it's green. Yeah, probably there is fine. All right. This other infantry will pick up at that point, and it'll have to stretch the rest of the way. Now, If we just stretch to that point. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put... Have out to there. No, no, no. This cavalry will take up. That area there. 
And this cavalry. We'll take up that area there. So that should give it cover. All right, and then what we'll do is we'll do the assault. Actually, hold on. We'll do this assault here. Cavalry and armor. Over there. And then this assault. Cavalry there. There's going to be a spot right there that's a bit of an issue. What is going on over here with, uh... With supplies. Previous bottleneck ports in Bulgar, Quebec. There should be a lot of ports here. Ports over there. Control of incoming edge provinces. Hmm. That may sort out if I can take out uh, the Iroquois. But I think I might need more armies in North America. All right. In our home areas, we got lots of problems. That's not an issue. That is. This is. This is. That is. These little spots. These spots. And this whole front over here. All right. All right, anybody that's got fronts, delete them. All right. Now, thing is, if I want like an entire army group down there, I might. Kiev has a lot of armies, a lot of troops. So does France. That's Bavaria. But Bavaria is not, uh, nope, nope, they are. They are a member of the Alliance. 
They're a problem. Yikes. Okay. I'm going to reset these guys back up on this front because... Really? That is prob probably where I want to keep them. Alright. Okay. Where's the infantry? Uh, infantry, all right. Wait, is that? That's a little tiny piece of French territory. Does it have a port? I don't think it matters. Okay, well, it is what it is, I guess. Well, this is going to be an issue. No, I don't need to worry about those guys. All right, so these troops... You guys sit up on the Italian border. Why are you driving through? Oh yeah, because they're um they're exiled division, so they can drive through whoever they need to. All right, so I want you guys over there. It's going to take pretty much my entire army. To set up on these fronts alone. Okay, so you guys are there. All right, those guys are there. And then I'll put the cavalry on the southern flank. And the mountain infantry. All right, so let's see. We have paratroopers ready to go wherever they are going to need to be. Mountain troops and the marines. Well.
And here's my new super heavy divisions. Alright, so you're going in here. I'm going to give you, like, this kind of hot pink color. Sure, why not? And then you're going to be given a commander. Okay. The super heavy armor. Mountain infantry. Well, I think for the moment, what was going to have to happen here is that this army of marines is actually going to have to probably set up there. This army of marines... Oh, this is... This is all kinds of trouble here. There's one, two, three. Is it you? No, no, no. One, two. Okay. Where would I want to send the mountain infantry? Probably down here. On that front. Uh, while I would love to use the paratroopers as paratroopers, I don't think I can use the paratroopers as paratroopers. At least not initially, anyway. We're gonna have to line them up on a front. Alright, so that still leaves this. It still leaves all these little pockets down here. Uh, this whole front along here. That spot there. This here. And the entire Korean border. Alright. Probably, uh, as I said, I'm also going to need more troops over here in North America. And we got nothing in South America just yet. Alright. Well. Here's what we'll do. Let's put together another army group. Infantry. Armor. Assaults. And then the cavalry. Which we need, what, 48? Forty-eight divisions of cavalry.
Alright, where are we going to put these super heavy tanks? I think I'm going to put the super heavy tanks on the Kiev border. Probably... Let's see, we want to concentrate them, I think... Right about there. So what I want to try to do... Well, no. Hold on, change of plans. I forgot that Italy will, will be a thing. What we'll want to do is we'll actually want to put them over here. Right? And then see if they can punch across this little gap. There. And create a big pocket right there. That we can destroy. Now that we've got like all these divisions lined up here, and they're all gonna smash down to the Bosphorus. And what I'm hoping is gonna happen is we can break across here, and so we'll be able to take this side of the Bosphorus and that side of the Bosphorus. So. And then we can send these armies off to do something else. Wherever it may be needed, once they're freed up. Yeah, all of this is going to have to get sacrificed. Just really nothing I can do about it. We're going to have to lock down the Mediterranean. The north. You know, the... Um, this whole area here, the Baltic Sea, the North Sea, it's all going to have to get locked down. So yeah, a lot of work, a lot more troops that are going to need to get trained. Probably a whole nother army group is going to be ne needed. Possibly two army groups. Now, the Inca are not a part of the Alliance. No, they are not. Hmm. Alright, well, I think we're out of time for today. So, we'll go ahead and stop here. And then we'll continue our prep work. Because the ground troops are only one part of the puzzle. We've got to get all the air zones set up, um, as I was saying, all the, the sea areas locked down. Basically, our whole coastline needs to be protected. So, yeah, we'll see how it goes. I'd like to defeat all the enemy forces in France fairly quickly, not France, Africa fairly quickly. And that will free up all those troops to do something else. So yeah, it's, it's going to be interesting. Then again, I could do all this prep work and then I could launch the for war against the First Nation in the Alliance and they may not help, you know, join in. We'll see. Alright, but for now, as I said, we'll stop here. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment. And I will see you next time.